Good morning, welcome back to the channel. It's early here in the UK. I'm still a bit sleepy eyed at the moment. I've got my morning cup of tea. However, I wanted to put this video together because something quite big has happened. And that is, it seems that BL32 is no more. Now, I just want to be clear before I say any more at this point that this video isn't designed to run rally people up. This video isn't designed to cause you to run out and do anything. It's informational. Right now, do nothing apart from one thing that I am going to ask of you a little bit more later on in the video. Now, this morning, we've woke to the fact that it seems BL Heli 32 is no more. Now, what I mean by that is this. If I just hop over to the desktop, here is the page for BL Heli 32. If you don't know what it is, I will explain a little bit in a minute, but it is an open... No, sorry, it isn't. BL Heli 32 is a closed source ESC firmware. Originally, BL Heli was open source, but BL Heli 32 isn't. And it is really today the go-to standard for firmware on ESCs. Now, this morning, a few messages started to do the rounds that there is a problem. Skystars posted a comment that, um, how's everyone been doing? We've received a recent update regarding BL Heli 32 software and the project has been closed down by the owner due to some regulatory reasons. Thus, BL Heli 32 ESCs will no longer be available from Skystars and the same will happen with other brands as well. Shortly after that, this message appeared to circulate online, which appears to be what was sent to these vendors. It says the following. We represent BL Heli AS. The purpose of this letter is to inform you about an important development regarding, or sorry, concerning the supply of BL Heli 32 licenses. With regards to informing you that, after careful consideration, BL Heli AS has decided to wind down its business operations effective from today. So this is immediate. They will no longer be able to provide further supply or support of BL Heli 32 software to any customers. They go on to talk about why the decision has been made due to a complex globally geopolitical landscape and associated risks of BL Heli 32 being utilised in drones for warfare. And basically, this says, this is it. It is done. BL Heli 32 is no more. Now... There is some irony in this because I've been making a video talking about ESC firmware for the last couple of weeks. It's one I haven't quite finished yet. I've been in sort of no rush to get it done. But as part of that, I put this chart together that explains the situation. Now, what I'm going to do is just take myself off screen a minute. That way you can see the full chart. And as part of this video, I was going to explain the history of ESC firmware from the start. So what we had originally was BL Heli in 2013, which ran on 8-bit 16 megahertz Atmel MCUs. We then had Simon K a little bit earlier than that in 2011. We then moved into BL Heli S, which was a version of BL Heli but it was designed for the new Syllabs Buzzy B MCUs, the BB1 and the BB2s. Then just one year after the release of BL Heli S, we had BL Heli 32. Now, the big changes with BL Heli 32 here was that it was running on 32-bit ARM-based STM32 microcontrollers, but the change was the fact that it was closed source and it was no longer open source. And this is really where we have been today with regards to BL Heli, because since 2017, BL Heli has continued. BL Heli S actually ran in parallel with BL Heli 32, 2016 till about 2019, 2020, whereas BL Heli 32 from 2017 onwards right up to today. Now, the real big difference to understand between BL Heli S and BL Heli 32 is the fact that BL Heli S runs on 8 bit microcontrollers and BL Heli 32 runs on 16 bit microcontrollers. Over the time that it was released, there were new features added to BL Heli 32 that we didn't get in BL Heli S. So, for instance, we got bi directional D sharp, variable PWM, and things like that were added into BL Heli 32 but were not available in BL Heli S. But this is really where the community stepped in. And again, if I just go back to the chart, you can see there were a couple of sort of revisions of BL Heli S. You had JSEC 
as well as BL Heli M Maverick. This was basically BL Heli S, but with some additional changes added. So they introduced bi-directional D-Shot, variable PWM options. Some of these were free, some of these were paid, as you can see here. But the really interesting stuff comes at the end, whereas where we have AM32 and Blue Jay. Now, Blue Jay is a revision, a fork of BL Heli S, but what they've done is open source that fork, added bi-directional D-Shot RPM filtering, as well as variable PWM. And Blue Jay really is the main standard of 8-bit MCUs today with regards to ESC firmware. While some manufacturers still ship 8-bit ESCs with BL Heli S, you really want to install Blue Jay because Blue Jay is a step forward from BL Heli S. It's a fork and they've added the features that we wanted in a non-paid platform. It's worth understanding though that BL Heli S and Blue Jay are all 8-bit. There is a limit to the performance. There is a limit of how far we can go with those microcontrollers. And that is why BL Heli 32 came because it gave us the new ARM-based microcontrollers, which are 32-bit, which allowing us to have a lot more performance and a lot more options. Now, luckily, and whilst you may think the world is over, the reality isn't because there's actually a fully open source 32-bit flight controller software out there, and that is AM32. You can see it on the chart here. We'll take a look at the website in a second. But AM32 started in 2021, 32-bit, ARM-based, fully open sourced, has bi-directional D-Shot and RPM filtering, has variable PWM, and basically it is replaceable on BL Heli 32 ESCs, and it is in continuous ongoing development. Now, AM32 is very much in its sort of infancy compared to the likes of BL Heli 32 and especially BL Heli S, but it is a firmware that has been gaining traction, and frankly, it's been long overdue that this started to become the standard for ESC firmware, and the Close source BL Heli 32 faded away. None of us quite expected this though to happen in such a sharp switch over as it has here. AM32 though is out there. You can get it. It is downloadable. It is available. And I suspect you're going to see a lot more ESCs based on AM32 in the near future. Now, one other thing I just want to mention is, as I've said earlier, that the current BL Heli 32 ESCs are compatible with AM32 as well, but don't rush out and install it a minute. There are things you need to understand. That journey may be a one-way journey and there may be no way back. So here and now, if you're happy with your ESCs, don't be tempted to run out and install AM32 unless you know exactly what you are doing. There is lots to understand about the situation, lots for people to get the grips on. There's people like me have got to really now spend some time looking at AM32 in a much better way than we have in the past. We've all been a little bit lazy, and I'll include myself in that, that we've sat there and gone, oh, we got BL Heli 32, that's fine. We're going to continue with that. Yes, this AM32 is amazing, but I want to wait and see how it develops. We ain't got time for that now. Now we need to get off our bottoms and get involved. Someone like me, others, we're going to do that. But don't you rush out and think you need to do something today. Your current ESC is going to continue to work. Your current ESC is fine. Don't worry about updating the firmware. Only look at this right now if you need to have a play to understand other things or go buy yourself a new ESC and install it on, but don't just rush out and start trying to install AM32 unless you know exactly what you're doing. So here and now, whilst you may feel that, oh my God, what are we going to do? Don't worry. There are options. It is a bit strange the way this whole situation has unfolded in the fact that it's closed down overnight. It hasn't been open sourced, which is what I would have liked to have seen from it. However, it also hasn't been sold off either. I think the two options would have been if the current ownership can't continue, why could BL Heli 32 either not be sold on or preferably open sourced for the community? I think, and look, this is my own personal words, I think it says a lot about what the intent was, 
the fact that it hasn't been open sourced. I think if you were wanting to do the right thing for the community in a situation that is out of our control, because we know the world has turned into a bit of a mess with regards to drones in the US, they're trying to ban DJI. There are things going on outside of our control and our hobby is being dragged into things that it was never intended for. But from my personal perspective, if the business game was over, then I would have just donated it to the community and let them get on with it to allow us to continue. However, that hasn't happened. The reality is, according to the documentation, it's over. It's no more. What will happen next remains to be seen. Now, I have spoke to some people and I haven't spoke to vendors yet. My belief in the situation is that basically from this point forward, um, you will not be able to make new ESCs with BL Heli 32 because the bootloader is licensed on install. So anything that's in stock is fine. Anyone with BL Heli 32 on their ESCs already will be fine. But for new ESC manufacturing, I don't believe they're going to be able to continue that from today. So today is most likely, this isn't confirmed, please don't take it as fact, as a hard stop in the start, hard line in the sand for the production of these ESCs. But that doesn't mean there isn't supply out there. We still have BL Heli S and BL Heli um, 32 that is available, and we still have Blue Jay. What's most important though is we have AM32. And I think for me, what now needs to happen is the community and the manufacturers get behind AM32. I would love to see a number of the big manufacturers come out and say, you know what, we're going to support the project, we're going to fund the project, we're going to make sure that the project has everything it needs to allow us as a manufacturer to continue to set, make products that you want, but also we think it's the right thing to do as a community. The likes of iFlight, the likes of SpeedyBee, the likes of uh, T-Motor, SkyStars, all of these companies Please now get behind AM32. Some of them are already, but please now put... Bloody Alexa. Please, as a manufacturer, get fully behind AM32 now. And what I'm also going to ask is, as a community, get behind this as well. Let me hop to the desktop. They do have a Patreon. Please consider checking it out. They do have a Discord as well, but I'm not going to send you there yet. I don't want to send loads of people to something and overwhelm it. What I would say is this. Go check out the Patreon. Consider supporting it if this is important to you. That way, we are supporting our future as well. Now, my final message on this right now is don't panic. There will be BL Heli 32 ESCs available. If you're short of them, it could be a time to pick a few up. But don't rush out, okay? We still have BL Heli S and Blue J on the stuff that's widely available. We have AM32, which is also widely available. There is going to be a transition. We're going to have to see what happens. I wouldn't even be shocked if we saw someone hack BL Heli 32. That could happen as well. I'm not condoning it, but that could also very much be a possibility. I am going to be honest. I am disappointed that this wasn't donated to the community. But you have to remember, for many people, FPV is a business, and as such, they're going to do what is right for their business. However, it hasn't. We're going to have to wait and see. Perhaps that could happen in the future. But here and now, the world has not fallen apart. All I would say is, there's no need to rush out and update the firmware on your ESCs. Just stay as you are. If you haven't got any stock, you might want to order some just in case, but don't go silly. But there are options, but please get behind the open source projects. If we just look at what Express LRS has done for the community, we can have that for AM32, so please do support it. Anywho, that's it. Weird morning. I'm going to finish drinking my tea. Let me know what you think. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.